ही देर फ्यूचर डॉक्टर्स दिस इज शुभांगी श्रेया फ्रॉम वाराणसी उत्तर प्रदेश आई सिक्योर सिक्स थर्टी वन मार्क्स आउट ऑफ सेवन ट्वेंटी इन डीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड माई ऑल इंडिया रैंक इज़ एट थाउजेंड फिफ्टी फोर सो आई जनरली डोंट लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ एंड आई एम टेरबल एट गिविंग एडवाइस बट स्टिल आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर माई स्टोरी विथ यू ऑल बिकॉज मैनी ऑफ यू माई फाइंड इट रिलेटेबल स्टार्टिंग ओवर टॉकिंग अबाउट माई स्कूल लाइफ I was a very choppy kid. I had a lot of friends, but I was a decent scorer. Somewhere, I was quite sure that I wanted to do something meaningful with my life. Still, I used to enjoy a lot. But here's the kick, and I think many of you might have the same situation at home. So I have this overachiever, big sister. She used to excel at everything that she does. So my parents expected me to become, well, almost, almost like her, if not exactly the same, then almost like her. So I was always pushed to do everything, to be like her. Well, I love her, but I still taunt her for everything that happened with me. But. she is also my inspiration so when it came to choosing the streams in class 11th and i had gotten 10 cgpa so my father asked me what do you want to take he was not sure about bio then i told him that i wanted to opt biology he was not sure at all so he asked me are you sure do you think you can do it I was like, yeah, I want to do it. So he gave me a chance, and I went for it. Eleventh and twelfth, I took uh, local coaching here, JRS tutorials, and I used to go there, and they used to teach us. But I didn't take need seriously the whole of eleventh and twelfth. I did study in eleventh. <laughs> I did. I secured eighty six point five percent in eleventh, but I didn't study for NEET. And in twelfth, I spent the whole twelfth class for twelfth boards. I prepared for it, and I managed to get ninety four point eight percent in twelfth. So my father was quite happy, but ever since boards, I stopped studying. Like completely, I don't know what I was doing. Ah, uh, the one month that we used to get after boards for NEET. So I remember NEET was on fifth May, and my boards had ended on twenty eighth March. From twenty eighth March to fifth May, I didn't study at all. Not like I should, or a NEET aspirant should. Not even close. So yeah, what will happen? It was not serious at all. I managed three ninety eight marks out of seven twenty. So I secured three hundred and ninety eight marks out of seven twenty in my first attempt at NEET. So my father came and he asked me, "What do you want to do now?" As I was not getting a college, and uh, I was not sure, but I wanted to crack NEET. I was not sure that I could do it, but I wanted to give it a shot, and I wanted to crack NEET. So I told him, I convinced him that please give me another chance, and he said, "Okay, if you're going to do it, then please take it seriously this time." And I promised him that yes, I will. So I started my preparations. The first few months I was quite lazy, but when i started giving tests and i did not get good marks that's when it strike me that if you do not get serious right now then it's game over for you so i took a karsh test series and uh, i didn't get any other coaching i didn't take any other coaching so i started preparing for neat seriously 
so i started looking for all of these lectures and the material on the internet so i found out about darwin and i tried it and i found it quite helpful because the explanations that were given below the questions they were very very good and i started noting them down and solving all the mcqs giving all the tests for free so i was quite happy with myself that time with my preparations with how things were going on and then came covid and uh, it made everything so difficult for all of us especially for all the neat aspirants because we know what we went through uh the extensions and the uncertainties everything was very bummy but somehow we all we all got through it and i gave the paper i secured 582 marks and uh, while i thought once that might be enough but when the results came out turns out it was not enough not even close to enough at this time my father came and he told me that you are just 30 marks short of selection why don't you give it another try the same man who doubted that whether i should take biology he told me that you should give it a give it another try that gave me a sense of achievement that yes i did something i made him believe that i could do this so i started again i was quite negative with towards my preparations and talking to my friends and my parents i found out the reason why i couldn't get it earlier as a neat aspirant you all must look back at your failure at least once just to realize what went wrong you have to self analyze yourself then only you will know what you lacked or as it happened with me my approach was terrible i was very negative and the whole time i just used to worry about the consequences that what will happen if i don't get it i never thought about the paper and other questions and the concepts i used to always badger myself with all these thoughts that what will happen if you don't get it so this time i changed it because you might have heard that if something is not happening according to you then you should change your approach so i did i started being positive this year i started saying myself that if hundreds of students can do this why can't you so i started and this time again i took akash test series no coaching i just used to see some youtube lectures physics wala sometimes and uh, sometimes an academy too they were quite helpful and for doubt solving i used a uh, doubtnet app and uh, an academy app too an academy app has this free feature of doubt solutions and it has a huge huge question bank i used to almost get the answers to every questions that i asked i continued with my neat 2021 preparation i used darwin's mcqs the daily tests and mock tests everything the daily tests were especially helpful because it helped me to know my rank every other day and when i saw all these students doing so good securing such good marks it used to motivate me a lot because after all we are all competing for the same thing we all want to be medicos we all want to be doctors and uh, then the exam time came and i this time i gave it a lot of thought about how i am going to conduct myself two weeks before the exam 
last year i had made this mistake of giving myself only 7 days of complete revision it was not enough for me so this time i gave myself 12 days of complete re- revision i gave 3 days to physics at least 4 to 5 days to chemistry and that like 4 to 5 days for bio i was very confused with subject to do first for the final revision well my friends and i all of my we, we talked about it so you all must talk to somebody which you trust because they will never want anything bad for you they will always try to help you and once you start explaining or you know just uh, putting your thoughts out there you will find the solutions in your own you just need to say it and that's what i did so i made this plan that i will do physics first and chemistry for the first three days and then i will move to bio for two days do the rest of the chemistry and come back to bio because i wanted to finish bio two days before neat so that it remains fresh in my head and it worked out for me and uh, i did it everything i there were two books that were very helpful it's called ncrt on your fingertips uh it was for physics yes and i solved it the whole book everything every mcq everything every question you should you all must solve it too it's quite a good book it gets in touch it gets you in touch with all of these concepts of ncrt and it has all the ncrt exercises intermixed and i did solve ncrt exercises too that helped me in physics i solved for chemistry all the in-text questions and uh, biology i learned it all line by line i didn't use any reference book for biology i just used ncrt because that proved to be more than enough for chemistry i stuck to ncrt all the questions that i used to solve i gave a lot of mock tests because my father always used to tell me that whatever you are going to feel at the examination hall that feeling must not be new to you so the more questions you solve the more mock tests you give the more you get acquainted with that environment the more better you are going to get the better marks you will secure so try to give as many mock tests as you can i used to give every two days i used to give a mock test every two days while i used to solve questions too regularly and uh, i used to revise biology at least once in a week some chapters and um, talking about the lectures well i would recommend physics wala because the lectures were very good some lectures of an academy like for coordination compounds were excellent it proved helpful for me so you should you all should find what works for you as a person because every individual is different what worked for me might not work for you once you find that comfort you will get it and uh, so i gave the exam and uh, it was quite a hard paper but somehow i controlled myself i composed myself i remember i was fear stricken in the examination hall the last few minutes i was trying to solve this question and it was not it was not coming to me but somehow i don't know what happened i got the right answer so i came home i was quite unhappy because the physics part was so hard and but then i calculated my marks i was quite satisfied 
So I was satisfied with my marks and my parents were very happy. Everybody I know was proud of me and um, I was just satisfied that I gave it my best and I was able to do it. And um, the only advice that I would want to give you all was just trust yourself and keep solving questions <laughs> because that's what need is all about. The more questions you will solve, the better you will do. And um, never let anyone tell you that you don't deserve it. Please, never. Because you do. You are struggling so much. They didn't have the guts to struggle like you are. So that makes you the star here. If I could do it, anybody can. And you all are so good. You're like, I saw my rank this year. I saw the level of paper. Still, so many students have secured such good marks. And I appreciate you all so much for this. You all are just amazing. I mean, I don't know how you people do it. So, just best of luck. And uh, I hope you all get the best college in future. And uh, don't let yourself get distracted. So I just had this one agenda. Whatever I do, I never want to regret. I, I want to have a life with no regrets. So whenever I used to just um, get distracted or take it for granted, I used to say to myself, you will regret it later on. That why didn't you do it when you had a chance? So instead of keeping regrets, you can just uh, try harder because that's your dream. And uh, whoever says that you are a failure or whatever, Nobody is fortunate, more fortunate, you know, than a person who is working for a stream. So you all should be thanking yourselves, thanking God that he gave you this opportunity that you are working for your dream. So all the best, all the neat 2022 aspirants. And I hope all of you make it and I hope you all get the best college in future. All the best.